Launch? What was that? I'm here. This belonged to you, maybe? It did, but you may keep it. I've a new one. I do not know you. I've done you no harm. Yet first you butchered a Bruxer who was dear to me. Now you pursue me. Why? You've killed four innocent people, at least. And you? How many innocents have you cut down? Not here to talk about me. Yet, that is exactly what we are doing. So, did they send you after me? Who are they? What do you mean, they? Duchess hired me. You've been murdering her subjects. <laughs> Is it as simple as that? I would ask you to convey to the Duchess that I've but one victim left, but <sighs> you'll not get the chance. to stay where you are. Regenerate! I know you're in trouble. I can help. I'll help myself! No. He's my friend. Yes, Geralt. It's me. Regis? I... You all right? All is well. All's in order. Wounds such as these heal on vampires in moments. But we've not seen one another in ages, my friend. At least in human terms, that is. How's this even possible? Last I saw you... I was a bubbling, shapeless smear, having been rather spectacularly melted into a column of a certain castle. In somewhat better shape now, as you can see. 
Hardly peep for, mind you, but were I human, folk would think me a demigod, I dare say. I'm sorry. What happened? It was my fault. Never got a chance to apologize. No need, Geralt. Bygones. I did not have to join you on that expedition. No one twisted my arm. Miraculous regeneration. How do you manage it? I had help. From the one you hunt. Him? How? And what have you been doing all these years? Not the time nor place for such stories. I suspect we'll get a chance to speak at ease and at length later. Now, however, we must deal with the reason that brought us both here. <laughs> Local serial killer seems to obey you. Maybe you could talk him out of it, convince him to stop murdering. Why do you think I've come? It shall not be easy, as death laugh can be rather stubborn. Though you must certainly recall that neither do I surrender readily. So that's his name. He's your friend? You might call it that. Though Detlaf is, how would you humans put it, more bestial than I am. But not to worry. I'm working on him. Haven't exactly done a great job with that. He's killed one night since I got here, at least three others before I arrived. For good reason, I'm sure. Understand. Detlaf is not some decadent shit who kills for sport, or to assuage a dryness of throat or a dullness of mood. So in your opinion, what are his reasons? Precisely what I wish to find out. And then I will convince him of the error of his ways. Got a lot of faith in the guy. Despite appearances to the contrary, you two are quite alike. You've both noble hearts, yet you both are wont to perform ignoble deeds. When circumstances force you to, of course. Remember the year 964? That was three centuries ago. Blind fear gripped Rivia, Lyria, and Spala. Women and children were dying. Their mutilated, dismembered corpses littered the fields. Brute of Lyria. Read about it. Chewed up almost two hundred, then fell to a common poacher supposedly armed with a dagger blessed by some prophet. It fell to Detlaf, who then found a poacher asleep in the brush near his snares and dropped the fiend's corpse at his feet. And thus, a legend was born. Huh. Vampires rarely help humans. Must have had his own agenda, hunting the beast. You err. He slew it for one reason alone. The monster killed a lad who once in the street had offered Detlaf an apple, expecting nothing in return. Terribly noble of him. You do not have a monopoly on altruism, my friend. Vilgefort melted my body. Detlaf found what was left. As per our codex, he had a choice. To leave me where I was, or to care for me and nurture my remains. He chose the latter, regenerated me at no small expense in his own blood. Do you know what that means to a vampire? The gravity of the endeavor? Probably same thing it means to a human. You owe him your life. Much more than that. The act itself made us blood brethren. A bond so strong humans cannot even imagine. Which is why I know something ill is afoot. Always had an overdeveloped sense of empathy. Each vampire has a unique talent. One they hone over centuries. It's precisely what renders us so difficult to classify. Detlaf's trump card is his herd instinct. His tribal propensity. In point of fact, he prefers the company of lesser vampires and shuns that of humans. If he walks among you, killing egregiously, it can only mean something's upset him. Immensely. Anything specific? Some set of things that would be likely to set him off? How should I say this? Detlaf doesn't understand men, their world, its rules, its conventions. He's naive in a sense. He doesn't comprehend your games, knows not what it means to lie, deceive. <laughs> suggesting he's maladjusted, inventing his rage. I'm suggesting maladjustment can at times breed conflict. But is it the case this time? I cannot say, but intend to find out. Gotta find him before something upsets him even more, and all Beauclair is awash with blood. Well, we share a cause then, just like the old days. Not entirely. 
I mean, when I find him, you know. I know you've a contract on his head. Yet your true task is to stop the beast killing, not necessarily to kill the beast, am I right? All in all, sure. Let us find him. By the time we do, I hope I'll have convinced you Detlaf is no monster. Fine, all right already. But for now, evidence is stacking up against him. Hear that? The posse. Knights must have tracked me here. I prefer they not find me here. I've makeshift quarters at Mer Lachaise Long Cemetery. We'll meet there. See you. Witcher, we flew here as fast as our courses would carry us. Yet I fear we're late all the same. Pray, where is the beast? Still investigating. About to inspect this site. Withdraw your men before they trample all over the evidence. Ahem, <clears throat> sirs. We must let the Witcher do his work. Milton's murder cannot go unoffensed. 